Hi there everybody, welcome back. This is kind of a impromptu video. Uh, I got some prints in from WHCC, White House Color, and I've been using them for a couple years and I feel they give probably the best bang for buck pricing. And really, if you want to do online prints, highly suggest WHCC, and uh, you won't be let down, I guarantee you on that. So let's just jump into this. I've been biting at the bit to open these all day. So first, got some 8x10s and some other sizes. This was mostly for me, but I got a couple pictures here for a customer. So let's see if we can get this open. Good Lord. Okay, so... First thing, we've got some 4x6s, some for family uh, you know, picture frames upstairs, and for our desks at work, from our recent photo shoot, that was a, that was a fun time. Oop, pull it over here. She just loves tractors. Another one, right in the back of an old truck. So, 4x6s, put those off to the side. And then we got some 8x10s for upstairs. I have like a wall of 8x10s uh, that I've had up there for a couple years, probably five years now, and haven't uh, updated or changed any pictures. So I figured it's time. It's been a couple years. And uh, later, once we get these all framed and everything's organized on the wall, I'll post a uh, picture on a YouTube community post. I don't know. I can't remember what YouTube calls it off the top of my head. But I'll post a picture on my YouTube account uh, showing the final image. Now how everything is set up. So first, these are the pictures I picked out for uh, on our display wall upstairs. We got a Baltimore Oriole. This was a uh, surf scotter. It's a pretty rare duck to have around here. It's pretty cool to have on the wall. Mostly from, uh, mostly in the ocean areas on the coast. I'm not sure how or why it was this far inland. I guess it's not that common. And then we have one of my favorite pictures from 2022 of an osprey catching a rainbow trout. Oh yeah, we got a green heron and an evergreen. We have a uh, bumblebee, a honeybee on a um, coneflower. That was that was pretty cool. I really like that one. That was in the evening. Got the nice yellow sun on there. Honestly, I just this is the first time I've really had uh, pictures printed from 45 megapixel sensor, and that just blows my mind. Honestly, the detail you got on that, and like. You don't really appreciate your photography or your photos until it's physically on print. So I highly recommend everybody go out there and just start printing your stuff. Honestly, like nothing compares. This might look nice on a screen, but like, look at that. We have a honeybee in flight. That was with the, the Z9 and I believe the 70 to 200 VR2 with the FTZ2 adapter. That's just bananas. That just looks so good. You don't appreciate your art until it's on print. And then I had a couple pictures here for a customer. They got a, uh, what was this, 8x12? Yeah, 8x12 Kingfisher with a uh, pike fingerling in his mouth. And then that same Osprey from earlier with the... Uh, uh, rainbow trout. Hopefully you didn't mind the sound from the furnace. So I will be giving this to my customer tomorrow. Dropping that off. I'm sure they're going to love it because personally I just love it. Like That just looks so good. Okay. So on to the, uh, the big fish shall we say. 
so in this box we got a 24 by 36 print and personally I kind of wish they wouldn't have sent this rolled up because it's going in this frame uh, yeah it's pretty big so let's just open up this big box see what we got and for what it's worth from WHTC it really only took four days to get these three four days so really couldn't complain too much throw that off to the side then we get a tube fancy tube then we got a print in here roll it up with some uh, plastic and foam not nice in the tube probably save the tube for later I'm sure I'm gonna have a use for that okay more more tape and foam we gotta be careful we gotta be careful if I can get it there we go perfect okay I mean, they put a lot of packing stuff in this. Give them credit for that. Okay, more tape. Peel the tape up. Okie dokie. Okay, so we got that. It's a bag. Get it out of the bag. 14 steps to unwrapping this. So it seems they printed this on Fujifilm Fuji Color Professional Paper. Okay, right, let's see what we got. One last piece of tape holding the roll together. A couple rolls. A couple pieces of tape on the roll. I've been wanting to print a large print like this of one of my photos for a very long time. Just never really knew what I wanted to do. Put that over there. Okay. So this is uh, a waterfall sort of near where I grew up. Oh my, that's, that's beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the camera will want to focus on that. That's just mind blowing. Okay. Let's put that off to the side. Let's get the frame undone. Now I got the frame at Joanne's, Joanne Fabrics last week. And it was 50% off. So this frame, it's plastic, was, I'm gonna say like 25 bucks, something like that. So. And you really gotta hunt through their selection because everything there's like beat up because people just pick through it and throw stuff everywhere. So I know this frame's not gonna be perfect, but for a 24 by 36, for 25 bucks I'm just I'm not gonna complain okay so now you get all these tabs up and we're just gonna use the magic of video editing and speed through this part
So real quick, one thing I've learned, since this is a pretty cheap frame, the cardboard backing is very flimsy. It's basically the backside of a box. And these tabs, I can't imagine lasting very long if you switch pictures a lot. So, if you plan on switching pictures around a lot, really should just fork out the money for a really good frame. But this is the first time I've had a nice picture printed, so we'll just cheap out in the frame a little bit and see how it does. There. Okay, moment of truth. No pressure. Man, that's just, that's just drop dead gorgeous. For a $25 frame, I'm not that disappointed. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed this impromptu uh, picture reveal, this print reveal, and I really hope it's motivated you to go and print your own work and hang it on the walls of your home, and I would definitely go through WHCC for your prints. And just to put it out there, this video and myself is not currently affiliated with WHCC, but if they see this and they want to offer me some free prints of my work, I would not turn them down because they do really nice, really nice job on, on photos. So, yeah, put your work on the wall and enjoy it in print. Till next time, good luck out there and happy printing. I'll see you.